Hello everyone, Brandon Montemare here with Montemare & Associates, your number one real estate resource. So today we're talking about something that we experience quite a bit in a market like we're going through right now, in an appreciating market where one home in the neighborhood, a model match sells, and the next one tends to sell for five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 more. What happens if the appraised value from the appraiser doesn't come in at the contract price. So let's jump right in. All right, so if the value does not come in from the appraiser, so let's say the property is 600,000 or that's the contract price and the appraiser brings it in at 585. So we have a $15,000 gap, what happens? So as the listing agent before the appraiser even shows up to get ahead of everything we put together an appraisal package so we pull together comps we list all of the properties upgrades and what we feel sets your property apart from the other one that sold at possibly a lower price so that we do get the contract price and keep the transaction moving smoothly so we send them that package and get them all ready for the appraisal if they come back with a lower number once we have the appraisal report back we take a look at it. So first is checking for human error. And that happens, especially right now with as many appraisals are getting done with the refinances and sales that are happening, we go back to make sure they considered the correct comps, all right, the most current comps, and also gave you the proper uh, increases in value for upgrades or other things that the property uh, has. So again, we check for human error. If that all checks out, the next thing we go back is, and we do a rebuttal. So this is a challenge where we're going back to the underwriters and the appraiser saying, hey, maybe you didn't consider this property or one that just closed. And that's something we've had happen recently where between the time we accepted an offer and the time the appraisal happened, another property closed and maybe didn't register on the MLS. So we had to provide them with new information that now allowed that value to come in. So we send over the challenge. Those aren't always successful, but it's one of the uh, one of the options we have to get the property to uh, the value to increase and us keep moving. And then finally, if there's no human error, the rebuttal doesn't work, we go to the negotiation table with the other side. And at that point, one of a few things can happen. The seller can drop their price to that 585 number. We can keep moving. The buyer can come up with $15,000, right? And we keep moving. Or we come to some sort of agreement somewhere in between, right? In the rare case where we cannot come to an agreement, both sides are able to cancel the transaction, right? And deposits are sent back and we go our separate ways. But we take a lot of pride at Montemarin Associates in making sure not only one, we get you into a good property at a fair price so that it will appraise, and then two, finding a way to get it to the finish line so that you and your family can either get that property you've always wanted or get your home sold and get the money you deserve. So if you have any questions about the appraisal process, you know where to find us. Give us a call. Have a great day.